Hey you guys, welcome back to Vanity's Kitchen. It's raining cats, dogs, birds, and mice today. And I was in the mood for some comforting seafood chowder. So let me show you how I made it. So I started out with two lobster tails that I bought frozen and I'm going to cut them into bite-sized pieces. I also had some shrimp on hand. I decided to throw that in as well. I'm going to let you know what I do with the shells in just a moment. I cut some russet potatoes into small cubes. About four to five will do just fine. Small pieces, guys. Chopped half of a yellow onion. If you want a whole one, go right on ahead. Three celery stalks chopped. Four to five cloves of garlic, finely chopped. If you have a mincer on hand, go ahead and use that, friend. Chopped up about three tablespoons of red chili. Shouldn't be too spicy, but if you don't want it, skip it. Some black pepper and some Old Bay seasoning. So I used the shells from the shrimp to make a stock. I didn't have clam juice on hand, which the re recipe recommends. So doing this will definitely enhance the seafood flavor, guys. So let's get started. I've heated my soup pot on a medium to medium high heat and coated it with a few drizzles of EVOO. Added in half a stick of unsalt butter as well. Once that's cooked down, we're gonna add some onion. Cook that until it's fragrant and translucent. Mix it in. Now we're going to add our garlic and cook it until it's blonde in color. Be sure not to burn your garlic, guys. If you see your garlic starting to burn, go ahead and turn that heat down. Next, you're gonna add your celery and cook that until they are softened. At this point, your kitchen should be smelling pretty good. I poured in a cup of cooking wine Use a dry wine if you have it on hand. Pinot or soft blanc will do. Now go ahead and mix all of those flavors up. So now we're going to go ahead and add in our potatoes. We're gonna strain that shrimp stock in as well or your clam juice if you have it about two cups or two and a half cups next i added in roughly four cups of chicken stock and mixed it all together now go ahead and grab your heavy cream here I have about one and a half cups of heavy cream. You can use light cream or half and half instead. I added some of the broth to it to make it a tad bit warmer before I poured it into the pot. I didn't want to lower the temp of the pot too much. So give it a good whisk, pour it in, and stir it up a bit. The heavy cream is going to add to that creamy texture you have when you have this soup. But if you know a lactose-free option, go ahead, friend. Give that a try, too. It just might work. So now I'm adding in a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and about a teaspoon and a half of Old Bay seasoning. Then go ahead and add your salt and pepper to your preferred preference. and mix that all together as well. As I finished mixing this, I went on ahead and added about two and a half to three cups of frozen corn. You can use canned, just make sure you drain it first. Add in those diced chili peppers, mix it up and cover for about 20 minutes or until the potatoes are nice and tender. With the magic of editing, my potatoes are tender and I'm going to give it a little smash. Now go easy with this, we're not making mashed potatoes, okay? <laughs> mm. 
Now once you stir your chowder, it should be a little thicker and you should have some smaller pieces of potato in the chowder, like how I'm showing you here. My corn and potatoes are now tender and now it's time to add the lobster and shrimp. I cut them all into small bite sized pieces and it should cook fairly fast. I would say about five to six minutes it should take for these to cook. Be sure to be careful because I got a lot of splash while doing this. So be careful while doing this guys. <laughs> Go ahead and mix all of that inside of your chowder. After that, it's time to serve it up. I am ready to eat and watch a good movie. I topped it off with some green onions and we had ours with some garlic bread sticks, you guys, and it was so good, even during the next day. Thank you so much for checking out this video today. I hope you give this super easy, very delicious recipe a try. It's even better the next day, y'all, trust me. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload. Until next time, bye, y'all.